Okay, year 11. Some more examples of balancing redox equations. Iron and zinc will undergo a displacement reaction under certain conditions. Determine the conditions where iron and zinc will displace each other. If you look at uh, your activity series, you'll see that zinc is, well, in mine, to the left of iron ore. Let me write here. Zinc is greater than iron, or more reactive than iron, okay? So iron is more stable, it will give up its electron less, or it will hog electrons more than zinc, okay? So for iron and zinc to have a displacement reaction, we're going to need iron without the electrons, or iron two plus, and we're gonna need zinc with the electrons. And so then the electrons are going to go over that way to zinc. Sorry, to iron. <laughs> okay, so, wow, I'm zooming. Um, all right, iron has greater electron affinity. Than zinc. So iron as an ion or iron two plus will take electrons from zinc solid. Okay. A balance half or balance full redox, we're gonna have to start with half. So we've got iron two plus plus two electrons going to iron solid. And we've got zinc solid going to zinc two plus because it, it's one of the transition elements that only form one oxidation state and two electrons, okay? We've got two electrons being consumed and two electrons being given up and they're on each side, so that's good. So we can just add these equations one to one. Iron two plus, plus two electrons, plus zinc. Uh, goes to, oh, that's a terrible arrow. <laughs> Iron solid, plus zinc ions, plus two electrons. Good, we've got electrons on both sides, cancel them out. We can't cancel out anything else. I might just write in blue. So iron two plus aqueous plus zinc solid goes to iron solid plus zinc two plus. Okay, let's look at the next one. Same type of question. I've just changed the, um, the metals around to aluminium uh, and lead. Okay, so if you look at aluminium, aluminium's to the left of lead. So aluminium is greater or more reactive than lead. So lead is more stable with electrons and it will take electrons from aluminium if it's in its oxidized state. So our conditions would be we have, uh, sorry, iron, lead as an ion and it will take electrons from aluminium solid, okay? So since lead has more electron affinity than aluminium, uh, lead ion will take electrons from solid aluminium. All right, half equations. Okay, we've got lead two plus, plus two electrons are going to lead solid. Okay, and aluminium solid goes to aluminium three plus, if 
from the periodic table and three electrons. This is why I deliberately chose it, two and three electrons. So what we're going to have to do to balance our electrons out is to times that one by three and times that one by two and add them together. So we've got three lead two pluses <laughs> plus six electrons plus two aluminium solids going to three lead solids plus two aluminium ions plus six electrons cross out what's in common six electrons six electrons good we've done it right nothing else so let's rewrite three lead two plus plus two aluminium solids or aluminium zeros three lead zeros and two aluminium ions okay next example the sulfate ion will undergo a redox reaction with zinc metal to produce sulfur dioxide and zinc ion determine which species is being oxidized and which is being reduced okay so zinc metal is going to zinc ion which is zinc 2 plus okay so oxidation numbers well that's in its natural state so it's zero this one is a monatomic ion so it's the charge so it's gone from zero to two plus so it's been oxidized okay it's lost electrons it's lost two of them we'll do that when we balance okay back to purple so let's just make sure that the other's being reduced got the sulfate ion going to sulfur dioxide okay so my guess is it's the sulfur let's determine the oxidation numbers okay so here on the, for the sulfate the total charge is going to equal the sum of the oxidation numbers so the oxidation number of sulfur plus four times the oxidation number of oxygen now the oxidation number of oxygen is negative two expand it out oh well, that's not a positive that's a minus okay so sulfur has an oxidation number of plus six there now here on the right the sulfur dioxide the overall charge equals zero it's going to equal th i'll put a zero like that the oxidation number of sulfur plus two times the oxidation number of oxygen sulfur plus two times negative two sulfur minus four so sulfur equals plus four so it's gone from six to plus four so it's been reduced okay so zinc is being oxidized and sulfate is being reduced to sulfur dioxide a full balanced half reaction or a full a full balanced reaction so let's do the half reactions kind of half done them anyway half done the half reactions so we've done quarter reactions <laughs> anyway zinc solid goes to zinc two plus that's a terrible arrow isn't it plus two electrons okay the sulfur the sulfate one it's going to be a bit more difficult okay we know it's going to so2 gas aqueous okay so balance any non-oxygen or hydrogens first one sulfur on the left one on the right we're balanced balance any oxygens with water on the opposite side i've got four on the left and two on the right so i need two more on the right so I'm going to add on two molecules of water to get two extra oxygens. Now we balance any hydrogens with H pluses on the opposite side. I've got four on the right, so I'm going to have to add four on the left. Okay, now let's work out our charges. Sulfate is negative two, plus four is positive two on that side. This right hand side I've got zero, okay? Now I balance it out by adding electrons. 
So adding negative charge, so I'm going to have to add two electrons to that side, to that left hand side. All right. Now my charge is equal zero on both sides. Okay, two being consumed and two given away. We just need to add these two together. Nice and simple. We don't need to multiply. I'm going to do a shortcut and cancel out my electrons. So zinc plus sulfate plus my 4H plus, which should have an aqueous state, which I haven't put there, is going to sulfur dioxide gas plus two waters liquids <laughs> plus the zinc ion. And there's my balanced uh, full reaction. Okay, time for one more. Oxygen gas will undergo a redox reaction with copper metal to produce water and the copper ion. Determine which is being oxidized and which is being reduced. So oxygen gas will undergo to produce water and copper too. So water and what do we got? Copper going to copper 2 plus. Okay, let's start with oxygen. We've got two oxygens on the left. We've got one on the right, so we're going to need two. Okay, we're going to need an extra water in there. We balance any oxygen atoms with water, so we're going to need two waters. Okay, now we balance the opposite side for hydrogens with H pluses. We've got four on the right. We need four H plus on the left. Okay. Let's look at our charges. We have 4 plus on the left and 0 on the right. So we need 4 electrons on the left. 4 electrons. All right. Copper, 1 on 1. Let's balance the charges, 2 electrons. Okay. So copper is being oxidized because it's going from... Oh, I'll rub this. Let's determine what's being oxidized. So copper's going from 0 to 2 plus, so it's being oxidized. It's losing electrons too because it's, we can see that it's, there is a product. Here, oxygen is going from 0 to, uh, well, 0 for water, the charge equals 2 times the oxidation number of hydrogen plus 1 times the oxidation number of oxygen. Hydrogen is plus 1, so 2 plus 0, so 2 plus oxygen, so oxygen equals negative 2 there. So it's being, oxygen is going from 0 to negative 2, so it's reduced. And we can see that it's consuming electrons too. Okay, so oxygen is being reduced and copper is being oxidized. Uh, produce a balanced full redox equation. Well, we've got our two halves. We can see that the bottom one... I'll put it in green. We're going to multiply by 2 to get it giving 4 electrons because that top one is consuming uh, 4 electrons. So that one's staying by itself or multiplied by 1. Okay, let me write all the things on the left-hand side. Okay, 4 electrons plus 4 H pluses plus O2 gas plus two copper solids they're going to two waters plus two copper two pluses plus four electrons let's cancel the electrons at least four four can we cancel anything else out no so our overall equation is four protons or four H pluses, O2 gas, two coppers goes to two waters and two copper two pluses. 
All right, hopefully those extra examples should help you out.